damn son this episode was a mix between heartfelt moments and pretty damn funny scenes shut up and sit down Yo, what's good? It's Sir Boydie The Views and heavy spoilers for Demon Slayer Kinetsu no Yaiba Season 2 Episode 3 of the Mugen Train arc should have been. And this episode was directed by Masashi Takeuchi and Takehiro Mura. And what is this episode all about? Well, Tanjiro, Nezuko, Zenitsu and Inosuke join Rengoku on the Mugen Train. Having heard that there may be demons on the train, they are on a huge alert, but they find themselves falling into a slumber. Within his dream, Tanjiro reunited with his long lost family. Zenitsu is in paradise with his girl, Nezuko. Inosuke is having the time of his life with Pompoko. And we get a little bit of Rengoku's backstory. And what do I think of this episode? Well, let's talk about the good. And I have to give it to the voice acting in this episode, particularly towards the end of the episode with Tanjiro and his family, when he's about to say goodbye to them in that sort of flashback and his little brother is just sort of screaming his name out. It was just such a tearful moment. He really felt that emotion. And even in Rengoku's sort of backstory, his father just sort of being so cold to him. And we just don't really understand what happened to him and why he ended up the way he did because dude like we saw scenes of him training Rengoku and his little bro in the past and now he's super cold to Rengoku telling the dude he's not going to become anything great even if he is a Hashira and Rengoku just sort of giving support to his younger brother because his bro ain't getting any love from his dad and just that heartfelt brotherly bond between the two of them he just really wanted to see more moments with them and more episodes of Rengoku and his past I just want to know why his father ended up the way he did. It might be due to the fact that he's grieving over his wife, but it's looking like this all happened after, so it's all a mystery. Zenitsu's dream world is just all about Nezuko, and it's pretty fun and cute, and he's just having a time of his life. I love the animation style in his eyes, just really poppy and cartoony. And then we've got Inosuke, and it's sort of paying homage to some Ghibli films like Pompoko and... My neighbor Totoro with the train sort of breathing in and out, or it might be House of the Castle. Either way, it was a fun little sequence right there. I really enjoyed Rengoku's strong will of him realizing that all this is just in the past and not really happening. The way he grips the girl by the neck, throws her aside, and just a whole sequence of the girl trying to go into Rengoku's spiritual realm. The lighting, the fire, the cinematography was beautiful in that shot and pretty terrifying. It looked like the pits of Hades. When the gloomy looking kid went into Tanjiro's spiritual core and it was just a beautiful sky scenery, just correlating to Tanjiro's peaceful nature inside him, it was just beautifully lit and the backgrounds looked pretty damn realistic. It looked like a photograph at times. Showing off that great, affordable background art scenery right there and the episode ends with Tanjiro understanding how to wake up but to kill himself and will he go through with this plan I'm pretty damn curious will he die will he survive it's a shonen so he's gonna survive but let's just see where this all leads out pretty okay episode not much action but a lot of heartfelt family reunions and funny weird and wacky scenes this episode gets an a out of 10 and a a minus go check it out right now it's on crunchyroll tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of this episode did you like it did you hate it like subscribe for more anime and manga reactions and reviews thanks for watching board reviews signing out